that's why I like the idea of maybe a, a ranked voting system. One, two, three, and you kind of tally it up. That way. I like the idea of a council. Where a council of elders. Yeah. Instead of instead One of like dude. a mayor, yeah. a council where. It, it, this is what I was going to say earlier, but I forgot my train of thought. Where the the people of the town, uh, they nominate. Well, yeah. The, the the person who they think in their town is represents their town. You know, they're a business owner. They operate their business per personal and private in the utmost way. And then, so a lot of these nominees from all over, from many towns, right, or from various parts of the community. And then, so th these people that got nominated, they don't necessarily agree with each other, but now they have to work with each other. And their best interest is their community, their surrounding communities, and they're, they genuinely, and so this isn't a well-paid position. So not everybody's going to want to do it, but the people that do want to do it, they're doing it for the greater good, mm. uh, for, their, for their people, essentially. And they're in a position to do it. You know, they're going to have a lot less leisure time now because they have to address all these matters. But essentially, all they're doing is is facilitating communication between businesses in in towns. Like, I love that idea. They're not like I want to go back to like an old school style way. Yeah, I think that's and more the way personable. To do it. Honestly, yeah. that's why I am very much against like big government in that way. Big government, not because I don't like having a lot of people on the same page I do but I just think it administratively and just you just can't operate through that much bureaucracy it's the, the the effect of it the immediate impact that you can have in just like a group like to see what we can accomplish just um, on, in our own group right yeah. just like all right we decided let's go yeah do it and it's effective and it's quick whereas if you have to go through this other way like nothing gets done and you have to wait for a bunch of people. Like, I'd rather you just institute change. If it works, great. If it doesn't, well, then you know, okay, well, that shit didn't work. <laughs> but at least you tried it out. Whereas you always have to wait on, like, a, the state level of it or the, or the federal level. And yeah. it's just this long, drawn-out process. And you, there's, no, there's no chance to experiment. So people won't give things a chance. And so innovation is slow. Every, yeah. Man, this is like the next podcast. <laughs> yeah, we're just so we should, slow. We should just imagine like what, why, why we were in favor of, of tribal, <laughs> tri tribal councils, the council of elders, and community, yeah. community government, community-based it government. It's reasonable. If if people understood it, they they wouldn't vote against it. No, they would. They would actually stand to benefit more. Yeah. I feel absolutely, they would benefit a lot more. Everything would be like taxes would be significantly lower because you're just putting a budget to things for what people want. To what they and want. And if they don't want it, they don't put their money on it. they don't put it. their money into it. That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> so really, you don't need to go vote. You don't need to go into a little booth to vote. You vote with your time. You vote with your money. You do it from with your actions. Yeah. 